We're here at the 2011 SEMA convention in Las Vegas looking for the newest and greatest and best toying products out there. I've lined up a few that I think are the best here at the show. This is something you all know what it is. It's rapid hitch. You've seen them out there. It's one of the popular adjustable draw bar hitches. What's new with this, it now has a little bigger gusset on the shank. It has a cap on it. You don't have to grease it, so you get rid of getting the grease on your pant legs and everywhere else. It's a nice thing not have to grease your, your hitch. A very adjustable hitch, a light hitch because it is aluminum. And what they have new is they're in the weight distributing market now. Uh, using parts of their rapid hitch, you know what I think about weight distributing hitches. This is the biggest safety concern with bumper pull trailers. If you look at your GM owner's manual, it'll tell you in there that if you're over 5,000 pounds, class three receiver hitch, you're required to have a weight distributing hitch. Not suggested, but required. When they say required, that means it can affect your warranty, it can affect your insurance. And with horse trailers, we're kind of lax in this area. Less than 10% of the horse owners use a weight distributing hitch on their trailers. And that's because it's kind of a pain to hook them up. The RV industry uses them constantly. That's more the conservative type. But when you got horses out there, you've got uh, an animal with the uh, center of gravity four feet off the ground, swatting flies. You need to be able to control the stability of the trailer. A good weight distributing hitch, besides achieving a attachment to the truck and trailer that creates a truss, distributing the weight to the, all the axles of the truck and the trailer, you also want a weight distributing hitch that controls the sway that you can get with a bumper pull trailer. And this feature, new from the Rapid Hitch folks, is it does both those concerns. It's one, one part fits all, which is kind of unique, but instead of having spring arms or chains that hold the spring arms up, you have a chain that does it all. It goes on a cushion that controls the sway as you get the movement of a tongue side to side. Uh, and it can be quickly attached just with this one pin. So in the horse industry, you can leave basically everything on the trailer, and then you have an adjustable coupler to use. And that's, uh, that's a unique system on it. So all you have to do is use your trailer jack to relieve the pressure on the chains, and then this will be freed up. Take that off, unhook your coupler, and go. Which is very few uh, systems out there like that. Most of the time you've got to take off all your spring arms or your chains and spring arms. And this is a unique system. And then what's left with you, you have an adjustable coupler after you take this apart, so you can use it for other things too. So it's new out this year. I'm here with Ryan Anderson. And he's going to show you the rest of what I missed on this. Ryan, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing great, Kent. Thanks for coming and being here with us today. Can um, you go over exactly how this works? You bet. We're excited about this hitch. Um, I'm going to show you how the chain system works. These are urethane springs that are used in the automotive industry of stamping out metal parts and uh, forming of fenders and hoods and stuff on cars. They can go through millions of cycles without hurting the urethane spring. They last forever. Um, what we're doing with the chain is instead of lifting, we're actually pulling on the bottom of the ball here. With the chain attached to this plate here, um, this spring, we like to compress it about a quarter of an inch, and that applies about 2,000 pounds of pressure to pulling on here. And with both of them, what we end up doing is pulling the trailer forward with 4,000 pounds of force, which twists the hitch here, the hitch head, and transfers the weight to the front tires of the vehicle doing the weight distribution. One of the awesome features about this hitch is the anti-sway control. This ball has a taper on it. It's got a quarter of an inch of taper in four inches, and the heavier the tongue load, it wedges the ball down into the taper, and it rides inside of a brake liner in here. It's an eighth inch thick brake line pad and it rides between the ball housing and the ball. When, when the trailer turns, how this is all attached to the trailer, it actually rotates that ball. You can see the plate turning. It rotates that ball, making the, the connection between the trailer and the ball grease-free. So you never have to grease that ball. And it's completely silent. It makes no noise, just like pushing the brakes in your car. You can see how that turns. So, you get the other traditional spring bars and chains, and they're really noisy. They pop and, and creak a lot. Um, ours is completely silent, makes no noise at all. And then the great, the great look of when you disconnect, all you do to disconnect 
is put your tongue jack down to the ground and then we supply a deep socket with every kit. You come back and loosen these chains and you just put, loosen that until the chain becomes loose and by the pull of one hair clip and pin we drop the plate on the ground, disconnect this and finish lifting your trailer off of the ball and drive away. Very simple to unhook. Um, takes about two minutes to disconnect or hook up either direction. We're very happy with this hitch and it's the way it works. Um, the anti-sway control is, there's nothing like it out there. Uh, it just works very well. Well, that's great, Ryan. This is really helping the horse industry. Something that's simple, you can take off, leave part of it on the trailer, and get going without the, the hassle. And the RV industry, they'll understand exactly how it works. They've, they've adopted these for you know 50 years. Another new product from Anderson Hitches, the guys that make the rapid hitch, is the new Ultimate Fifth Wheel Connection. It's going to be a popular trend now. People with fifth wheels want to go to the ball. We all know why, because we're in the horse industry. It's a tighter connection. It's it's a way to free up your bed. Nobody wants to lift that great big gigantic fifth wheel in and out and the heavy weight and all the grease and lining them up. And line up a fifth wheel to connection, it's not like lining up a semi where you back in, you hit it, you ram it, you're locked in place. You've got to be careful on a fifth wheel. Their jacks aren't made very substantial. You can break things up if you don't take it delicately when you're hitching up the fifth wheel unit. And since the trader industry doesn't understand that the short bed crew cab truck, the number one selling truck for the last 10 years, we seem to have to adapt for these short bed trucks. And that's what this does. It gives you actually a nine inch offset and it moves the pivot point. So it doesn't exactly do what most adapters does. It changes the pivot point and it changes where your connection point is. So you're actually not changing your weight distributing much over a regular kingpin. And you can correct me if I'm wrong on that, on how that weight distributing is with the hitch. I'll have uh, all the details on that. This system here fits over your ball. Anybody's ball that's in your bed, it sits on top of the ball, attaches itself, and you have another piece attached to the fifth wheel, and there's your connection. So your pivot connection is up off the ground, not down at the bed. So you're taking some of the stress off the fifth wheel that a normal adapter does. Uh, Ryan, will you give me the details on how this all works? You bet. This block here that we machine out of a 3x4 aluminum extrusion, this is your uh, the, the pocket where it goes over the king pin on your fifth wheel. And these bolts here secure it around the king pin and then we tighten the, the four set screws here to apply pressure and, and load this so it's solid and, and doesn't move around on you. Um, it has the remote latch here. You can see how the uh, latch here comes into place as I push the lever and then it has just the quick quarter turn that, that locks this cable. So this feature here is, is very unique. Uh, only takes two minutes to install it to your trailer, so works out very nice that way. The frame here only weighs 70 pounds with the ball in it and everything. Very lightweight. Can be removed out of your truck in under one minute. It takes a 15 16 wrench, and all you do to take it out is, is loosen these two bolts here, which takes the play out of these two tubes here. And then by loosening this, that drops this tube down so that you can pull your pin and clip and remove it from the ball. At that point, you can lift it off of the, the gooseneck ball and we'll put it away in your garage. Some people can even hang it up on the wall. Great about this compared to other fifth wheel hitches is they have rails in their truck that they can set the hitch into, but they're always in the way from loading things in your truck. What we've done, we have this ball that can turn over just like that. Now the bed of your truck is clean, free from any obstructions of putting things in the bed of your truck. So if you ever want to go camping again, just turn the ball over. tighten this bolt to 40 foot-pounds of torque. That's all it takes. What we do there is we pull the hitch down tight against the bed of your truck so it can't move around. Because we pivot on a ball, your trailer never has enough torque to turn this anywhere. So it's such a smooth connection. After you've tightened this to 40 foot-pounds, tighten these to 40 foot-pounds of torque as well. 
That takes the slop out of this tube to this tube here so that you have a rock solid connection. Hooking up is easy. You can be within a half of a ball when you're setting down with your trailer and it's easy to see this ball out the back window of your truck. But if you pull up, you just set her down, latch it, lock it, get in your truck and you're ready to go. This ball is a ball we pulled off of one of our units. Well, a customer has gone 13,000 miles pulling a 19,000 pound fifth wheel. The zinc plating is still on the ball, hasn't even wore off. And it's a completely grease-free unit, which makes it very nice. When you take it out of your truck, you're not going to get grease on your shirt or your pants. I mean, some people are buying $50 to $100 pairs of jeans and, and shirts. It's very expensive to be ruining those. Um, it's nice to not have the hassle. You don't ever have to worry about grease in this product. So that's another thing that we really like about this hitch. It's the ultimate fifth wheel connection with Anderson hitches. And the nice thing about this hitch, well, there's several nice things about the hitch. We all know a ball connection is better than a kingpin. You have the slap in a kingpin. You see the RVs going down the road. They move forward and back. These are nice ball connection made for you know off-road use, ranch use kind of things where your trailer has to pivot through it. The RVs have just in the last five years actually tipped side to side. It always tipped front to back when they finally figured out they needed more movement. And you have that with the ball and socket. This offset is a total of nine inches. You have five inches on the ball and the, the brace that holds your ball. And the piece that actually hooks to your kingpin is a four inch offset. So that's very short distance there. You're not going to have a twisting problem where you're going to be putting leverage against your trailer causing, you know, breakdowns there. It's a very well, very well designed unit. It looks like a long term type of situation there, but you can see the flexing that it has uh, with the ball socket. Much better.